Welcome, Gun Runner. Hello everybody, q and AK The Lead here and I'm back with a book review for you and uh, I've got absolutely tons of books to work through at the moment um, an incredible amount in fact um, as well as tons of magazines to work through still I've probably got enough to uh, to keep me going well through the summer at the moment so there's going to be plenty of um, good content coming up especially for those of you who enjoy the, the, the book reviews and the magazine retrospectives um, but this is actually one of the latest things that um, I've got, um, um, which, as you can see, is Arcade Retro Classics by Steve Roach. And I wanted to get this one done before some of the others um, because it's, it's, a, it's actually a very recent book. Uh, some of the other stuff I've got is not so recent um, because I've been sent some stuff by some authors, but I've also um, bought some stuff for myself as well. Um, but... Uh, yeah, as I say, this this is actually quite a recent book because it only came out in 2021. And I, and um, also another thing I noticed about it was that it mentions COVID in it. So you can tell I knew it is by that. Um, first time I've seen that in a retro book um, talking about COVID. Uh, so there we go. And I just saw this pop up basically on um, Amazon um, in my recommendations. And I never heard of it before. I'd never seen it advertised anywhere, talked about anywhere which I thought was quite strange, obviously, considering all the um, uh, groups, retro groups and stuff that I'm in and follow. Um, so I don't think the author's done a particularly good job of publicising it, unfortunately, um, which is a shame, especially, actually, because this book does originate from the UK, um, as I will go into. So another reason why I was very surprised that I hadn't heard or seen anything about it. So if you are watching Steve Roach, you should do more to, to publicise your book, because it is actually pretty good, as, as I will... Um, show you uh very very shortly but as i say it came up on my recommendations on amazon um i had an amazon voucher to use um so i basically didn't pay anything for it because with prime for pre-postage as well um it ended up yeah costing me absolutely zilch um which is which is quite good um so there we go um we'll have a look through the book then so as you can see uh okay, okay retro classic steve roach it's kind of a5 kind of size um a bit bigger actually so it says, Welcome to the world of arcade games. Inside, we take a look at more than 100 of the greatest video games from the golden age of the arcade and beyond, 1978 to 2001. But technically, the golden age is, is considered um, the sort of 1980 to about 84, the video game crash. So mm, he's stretching the term golden age there a bit. But each game description is highlighted with one or more screenshots and marquee artwork. Many also feature promotional flyers from the time of release. See the origins of modern video games and find out what you can now play. Find out how you can now play these classics on your computer, phone, tablet or console of choice. That bit is, is quite cool, which I'll go into um, in a bit. So there we go. Uh, I seem to remember, there's no price in the book, but I seem to remember it was about £15. It says there it was actually printed Amazon, so it's probably printed actually in the same place as my books are. Uh, my books are printed in Milton Keynes, so it wouldn't surprise me if it's the... Um, done in exactly the same place so um, there we go this book aims to be a historical document and preserve the memory of arcade games that once were ubiquitous but now sadly becoming forgotten introducing this book blah blah blah, blah. yeah okay so we'll go to the contents page then so there we go so it starts off at 78 79 actually does do a little bit earlier than that but we'll go into that in a moment 1980, 81, 82, 83, so you see it's all chronological order. Um, and there's not much through the 90s to 2002, as you'll see. They, they kind of very much skipped over that that period. So it is very much focused on the um, the 80s games, um, other stuff there. It's all in full colour, as you can see. So it goes to useful terminology there. Um, there's a forward, um, which also includes some history of arcade games. And a little bit about the history of computing and consoles in general as well. And actually, this is the first strange thing I wanted to mention about this that I must bring up. There's some quite strange information about the Atari 2600, where it talks about people confusing it for a toaster and a VCR. And Atari had loads of consoles returned with toasting. I've never heard that story before, ever. 
Um, and being somewhat of a Atari historian, um, I'm not sure where he's got that from because, yeah, it, it's very, very, very strange story. Um, bizarre, but there we go. Um, the other strange thing I wanted to mention in this intro is he talks a lot about the ZX81 um, and what an com important computer it was. I can only assume he owned a ZX81. Um, that's what gave away that he, he was from the UK as well, actually, um, before I even read more of the book. Um, because, uh, yeah, the ZX81 wasn't much of a thing in America. It was semi-successful in America as the Timex TX1000, but it was more successful in the UK. Um, but really, the ZX81 wasn't that influential. I think he, he makes it sound more influential than it was without mentioning computers like the Atari 8-bit, VIC-20, you know, stuff that actually came out before it um, and was probably more influential. Apple II, to give another one. Uh, at least they had colour and sound and stuff like that as well. Um, but there we go. So I'll skip that. So then, obviously, we go into these these um, the pages with the arcade games on, starting there with Space Invaders. It does mention the first arcade game, that's Space War, in the intro, which is what I meant to say, which is why I'm saying it starts a bit earlier than that. So there we go. Um, so I'll show you a little bit. I'm not going to show you the whole book, so I'll just show you kind of what it's all about. Space Invaders, Galaxy in there. Um, so there he goes. He's got a whole a whole page of the flyer on there and asteroids. Crash, which is strange. He said he, he said why include it instead of head on, but considering it's a rip off of head on, it did seem strange to include Crash over head on. Uh, Lunar Lander. He said strange. He said that he couldn't he could couldn't find good screenshots of head on. If you played it in main, you just take the screenshots yourself. So I thought that was a, a strange thing as well. But there we go. Centipede Battle Zone, so Pac Man, so all the biggies, all the big hitters from the early 80s in here Phoenix, Rally X, Moon Crystal. But it does start to get a bit more diverse than this, as you'll see Defender, Scramble, Donkey Kong, Gallica, Frogger, Amidar, Tempest, so Kicks. We've got loads of really early stuff in here Cuba, Antito, which is a bit more obscure. Um, Bubbles, see, it starts to get a lot more than obscure, obscure than that. He actually covers a lot of games. Um, that you don't usually see in these kind of books. I mean, there isn't a glut of arcade books about, as it is. I mean, there's not that many, which is one reason why I wanted to do an arcade book. Um, and I have got one coming out um, um, when the um, the publishers have finished uh, putting it together, because I don't, I just write the books, I don't do the layouts. Um, so that they're, they're doing that at the moment, I believe. It's all being laid out and uh, put together. So um, hopefully that that comes out um, this, you know, this summer. Um, uh but yeah um th this covers a lot less you know a lot of the le lesser known games as you, as you will find out even more so than bubbles and my book um does as well actually so this is the first other book i found apart from the one i've written myself that covers more of the lesser known games which is really nice to see book of tom just dig dug so there's another one there eyes um, and a call that he mentions that the game actually got a homebrew port to the Spectrum recently, which I did see, and it looked very cool. I was surprised to see to see that. Eyes isn't a well-known game. Locomotion, Mr. Do. Locomotion isn't that well-known. I think Tron there, Robotron. Zaxxon, Crystal Castles. Sinister Dragon's Last, Spy Hunter, Star Wars. Tapper. So plenty of big games there. Track and Field, Bomb Jack. See, Chicken Shift, um, which I'm familiar of because I did an article on Sente for um, Retro Gamer, but most people would never even have heard of Chicken Shift, let alone played it. So that was cool to see that in there. Uh, this is another thing, strange one, because you put Boulder Dash there, um, but which version? You just put this Boulder Dash first star. Um, but given that was released in the arcade several times by different people, but the screenshots seem to show the, the Maxiflex version that Exidy did, which is basically just a, an Atari 600 XL computer in an arcade cabinet. So it seems to be that version that he's, he's looking at there. Um, but it was a, a specialised Data East version, for example, as well. There's another one, I can't remember who did it. I'm th thinking it might be in Jaleco, but I'd have to check that. Uh, Iper Sports, iRobot, Marble Madness, 1942 and Packland, Punch-Out Commando, Turn of the Jedi, Gauntlet, Empire Strikes Back, Ghosts and Goblins, Gradius, Paperboy, what did I miss out there? Green Beret, Motos, uh, 720 versus Super Mario Brothers, obviously Nintendo Play Choice, not a kind of 
proper arcade games, so to speak. Bubble Bobble, Arcanoid, Super Sprint, Kari Warriors, Outrun, Life Force, uh, Rampage, Wonder Boy, Contra, Double Dragon, Darius, Rainbow Islands, R-Type, Super Dodgeball, Shinobi, Ghouls and Ghosts, Narc, New Zealand Story, Camel Tree, definitely a lesser known game, uh, Dragon Breed, Underrated Dragon Breed, Golden Axe, uh, Buster Brothers, OK, Pang, uh, Prehistoric Isle, uh, Liquid Kids, again, not that, that's not well known at all, uh, Turtles, I skipped a load of pages there, uh, so there's something I want to show you, Mercs, Nemo, which isn't well known at all, uh, Smash TV there, Dino Blaster, OK, Bomberman, Street Fighter 2 and Mortal Kombat, they put them next to each other, which is nice, Cow Cowboys of Moo Mesa, definitely not one of Konami's um, better known games. Probably the most obscure game to use their, their Turtles board. Um, House of the Dead is going into the 2000s now, Tekken 3. Dance Dance Revolution, Crazy Taxi, Metal Slug 3. And that is the only game from the 2000s, I think, there. And then this section at the back... Is all about emulation and how to play these games. So getting MAME set up on various devices and RetroArch, um, um, RetroPie, all stuff like that, jailbreaking. There's a big bit of all of that. And then there's a strange little bit at the back, which goes back to the arcade games again and covers like loads that you missed out, but in smaller smaller bits there. So you've got AB Cobb, Atomic Robo Kid. There's all sorts of stuff there. There's Psycho Pigs, Carrier Air Wings. There's some... Again, a mix of well-known stuff like Escape from the Planet of the Robot Monsters, um, which is well-known. Eliminator, which isn't well-known. So all sorts of stuff there. And then further reading, you recommend some other books like The Brilliant Arcade, which I've reviewed on this channel. Arcade is fabulous. Um, the Retro Gamer Arcade Classics book as well, again, which I've looked at on this channel. And other books by Steve Roach. Um, he seems to have done quite a lot of... Um, uh, novels as well as the gaming stuff which is interesting because um, I've also written a few novels myself although I haven't done them under my my um, my own name I've done them under a pen name um, because I wanted to keep my my kind of retro gaming books separate from my my story books so I've done them under a different game, name which I'm not going to mention here because um, as I say I like to keep it all separate and I don't want the two being connected together for um, various reasons but um yeah, I like to keep those those things completely separate, but he obviously doesn't. That's up to him. Um, but Steve Roach, yeah, I mean, he, he's a good writer. Certainly, the book is really well written. I didn't really notice, you know, any mistakes or anything in there. There's some strange information, as I as I said, but um, didn't really notice any errors, massive errors as such. Um, I enjoyed reading it. It's got a really good selection of games, uh, decent cover. Um, so yeah, so if you're into arcade games, I think it's it's a nice book and it's well worth um, the money as well. Um, because uh, I say, I, mean, I think it's, 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 I think it's about fifteen quid, which isn't bad at all for for a full color book like that. Actually, I didn't say the page count. I usually do tell you that. So let's just have a quick look, just see what the page count is. Um, One hundred and fifty six pages. There we go. 156 so that's not bad it's probably actually going to be similar to um to, to to my arcade book i can't remember how many pages that comes out as oh i won't know actually because it hasn't been laid out yet but it's probably going to be something uh quite similar to that but my book rather whether this one has got full page reviews um my one is going to keep the format of my previous compendiums with smaller you know smaller reviews several per page um so it'll be a different kind of book again um which is nice because you know it's nice to do have books that that, that go for for different concepts. Um, but there we go. I'm sure I will be covering my bo own book um, and showing you that a bit more on the channel once it's um, once it's done. But uh, thank you for watching my review of Retro Arcade Retro Classic. Sorry by Steve Roach. Um, really nice book. I do recommend picking it up if you're into arcade games. And um, I thank you for watching. And I'll see you all again in another video very soon. Bye bye.